do update, gotta get everything again, as you do. This time I'm gonna try out a little bit more of a tactics flavored run. Well, this time I say, but I've been doing that a lot over the past couple days. I wanna get, you know, if I'm gonna be making a lot of claims about what I think should be going on with tactics, I wanna at least have a solid run in here, a lot of experience with this stat that we like to refer to as tactical. <laughs> so, today it's pretty much going to be trying to re-get everything and then also, uh, seeing if I can get a decent run going on here, five cell mode, what with uh, the magic missiles and all that. I do need more than one single weapon, though, which would be very, very nice at this point in time. Oh, well. Ah! I gotta have those few burner runs at the start, after all. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's re-getting all the items again today. So, yeah. Oh boy, I, they haven't even got patch notes up just yet, so I'm not entirely sure if there's anything that's been changed as of just yet. It seems like uh, most of the stuff that has been changed in the last patch here is pretty much the same, but I'm not entirely sure what uh, what else is going on. So, I got the best uh, tactics run that I could think of here. Uh, magic Missiles, uh, Hokuto's Bow I thought was a pretty good secondary item. Something like Corrupted Power I think could be pretty useful. Magic Missile's big thing is that it fires fast, but, you know, can uh, sometimes be maybe not too powerful. So, go full on with just huge amount of damage here, and I'm gonna go Glass Cannon as much as I can. Where's the dead cells? What do you even... I don't even know what you're on about. Unless this is some sort of no true Scotsman type of phrase, and it's like, oh, this is real dead cells. I wanna see the stuff where you use a single weapon. <laughs> I don't know, I like doing those. I feel like those aren't really the most uh, popular types of runs, though. Compa oh, come on now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, as always, it's just like, you need a little bit of a, uh, little bit of good start here before you can actually get a run going, which is frustrating if you don't have any items immediately off the bat. Wanna see a pure corrupted power run? I mean, it's not like you can't do it. You know what, I don't even like this run. I wanna start out with something better here. Ugh, Glass Cannon is the real deal in most games. I mean, the thing is, it is going to be good by end game, but it's also going to be very difficult against bosses. Oh, great. This is, this is an even worse start than usual. Uh, oh, well, you can always get to see uh, this combo, which is a pretty fun one. <laughs> if you haven't before, you do eat, get... You know, uh, the Homunculus Rune is considered damage over time, so it's like, <laughs> it works. I wouldn't really say this is my favorite way to do damage, but hey. Uh, desperate times call for some desperate sort of strategy. I kept parrying until I beat the game. Hey, parrying is effective. It does a lot of damage. It's just, you know, sometimes the, the juice ain't worth a squeeze. You know what I'm saying? Still happens like that. Is this still alpha beta? Absolutely. That ain't going away until, well, it's no longer alpha beta. I usually like staying on top of stuff. You know, being able to... Um, check out the newest, freshest jams when it comes to dead cells or as often as I can. I think it kind of provides an interesting idea, uh, an interesting look at the game as well as, uh, you know, hey, it's the new content. It's the new hotness. I use that phrase a lot for good reason. After all. Two boss cells kicking my butt. It's like, yeah, yeah, and it will. It's not easy, certainly. Okay. Yeah, even on five cell mode, this can be a pretty effective strategy. It's just... Ugh. Oh, great. Even better. <laughs> My favorite. Okay. Uh, do you have a Boy Zack Showcase run? I actually kind of have a couple. I mean, uh, t t t oh, come on. You can't shoot past it like that. How many hours do you have on Dead Cells? Yeah, let's get a streamly check <laughs> here. Uh, 1260. 12, 1,200 city hours. <laughs> Quite a few. Oh, yeah, but I do have a Boyzak Showcase. I think it's comboed with the with the time that the Owl was still scaling with uh, with Brutality. And then I also have a recent-ish uh, run that I called the Overpowered Run, which uh, was pretty Boyzak focused. Well, almost entirely Boyzak focused, let's just say. So if you're looking for uh, some, a good look at just how nice that those weapons can be, it's like those two will uh, will cover you, but good. It's still a great weapon, it's just you do have to make sure that you have the stats for it. Some of my uh, past streams have had kind of a little bit of an issue, what with the whole... Uh, in fact, that I wasn't really going for as many stats as I could possibly get. I was just assuming that how good the weapon was was going to carry me to the ending. 
not the case. Don't uh, don't get cocky, kid. You know. Ugh. Ah, that was pretty harsh. And also, eh, whatever. <laughs> I kept getting um, kept getting uh, uh stuck on the wall. Look, we're gonna be here for a little bit. Five cell run, especially five cell run. We're not planning to be getting a whole lot of hell. Has a rough start. A rough start, and then from there, don't even double switch. <laughs> All I need to do is just get the full build. I mean, the, the hardest part is waiting, but also, like, actually getting the items to make this a good quality run in the first place. After that point, it'll be fine. Just gotta... Gotta glass cannon it up, and then everything is gonna be dying before they're even able to do anything to me. Enemies cannot hurt you if they're dead. Uh, things die when they are killed and all that. Sometimes dead is better. Come on, how many more references can I get here? A few, probably. But that's not the point. Uh, replace... Oh, you know, it's gonna be a good even when you got a glass of wine in your hand and your favorite dude is streaming. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Head pat me more, Kohai. Ooh, woo. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Like I said, just all I need to do... I, I, got, I got a couple good turrets going on here, too. It's pretty much everything that I think of a great... Uh, Make fancy ramen or quesadillas. I just go quesadillas. Like, there ain't nothing wrong with a couple quesadillas. It's simple. Make those things in the microwave. You can go pan fried if you want to go with something a little bit fancier. I don't really know. It's not. Uh, it's not really something that I even think about all that much. Too busy playing video games. I'm on like that. Uh, I'm on that like a Silicon Valley type of timeline where I just spend like literally all of my time transcribing Japanese. <laughs> Speaking of which. Uh, probably gonna do, finally do a stream about that. Can, can plan to have that happen for a while here. We'll just pound down a glass of Soylent or whatever, and look forward to that stream immediately after this. As a console player, the Rav Ravagers look adequately terrifying. Oh, you should, if you're on console, you should have them by now. So, boot that, boot up the game and you can experience it yourself if you're, if you're so, uh, inclined to. And no, they are terrible. Uh, don't get hit by them. Okay, this is something. I mean... Panic buttons, even though I'm not working with melee, is definitely going to be is definitely going to be a, a good a good way to kind of prevent myself from taking too much damage from some of the more obnoxious type of enemies in the game. All right, doing tactics just to showcase magic missile. I do think that of of really good tactics weapons, the one that I really have not oh you know I probably shouldn't have actually unlocked this immediately. I, I kind of need to not muddy up my item pool right now. Oh, boy. Um, but, yes, what was I saying here? I, I think that of the really good tactics items that I haven't really given too much thought to, this is probably the one. It's... Uh, I hate it. Okay. Well, that's how it do. <laughs> You really can't deal with, uh, if I don't have a full kit out here, it's just like, uh, what the hell is this elite? Uh, so elite ravagers will kill you within like literal seconds of trying to attack you. Like even if they are quite far away. So yeah, don't, don't have that happen. If you're not planning to have be, you don't have a full kit out. You don't really have too much to do there. Rampager Elite. A Rampager Elite on the first floor here equals dead. What boss cell do Ravagers appear in? I think they appear in everything. It's just the point in time in which you're going to actually encounter them is going to vary, basically. Okay. Now get these fellows jumping up here. And then I'm actually going to do this properly this time. One of the important things you got to remember about these runs is that... You do, in fact, need to be a little bit careful, a little bit cautious. Can't just fly off the handle, go all crazy nutso here. Have to be... I mean, that's, uh, honestly, a little bit counter to how I usually like playing the game. But hey, I will do it just so I can get, as I said, you know, the idea that... I know what I'm talking about when it comes to tactics. Gotta at least have, like, one successful run here. And okay, uh, are the rampagers? Rampagers are only on three to five boss cell. 
Oh, okay. I, I was thinking that they'd appear like in the, uh, the the castle or something on Zero Boss Cell, but not. It's only three to five. There's a beta on Switch. Not that I know of. It's still the. It's still just the Rampager update, but. It's like that. That is the newest one, so you should be able to see the Rampages at least, right? I'm pretty sure that one's out for consoles at this point in time. Can't really t quite tell you for sure though. If it's not, enjoy the um, things that have not yet changed. Oh, I just wait until the point in time when I'm just one-shotting these guys left and right. It'll be so much nicer. Okay. Well, better. I do need this. But, you know, it's still... I I'd rather have, like, a turret at this point in time if I really could swing it. I'm just saying. Oh well. New patch idea rampagers can turn around mid swing. Oh yeah, just make them totally like the uh, the knife throwers were for that one short time, where they could uh, turn around after throwing knives, and it just made it a complete nightmare to fight them in every single way. <laughs> that would be fun. I love that point in time. And actually, there is kind of a thing like that that does exist. They're called uh, duelists. They're a uh, they might be what what eventually turned into the rampager. But I remember them when I was playing uh, Allah's Corrupted Edition that they were just. You, you literally could not roll past them. It was impossible. Terrible. Uh, ooh, Daddy Duck, your favorite cat has arrived. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I mean, ooh, ooh, Daddy Duck, your favorite cat has arrived. Okay. Ah, that was close. Am I late? Uh, no, we've had a couple really terrible runs, if I'm being perfectly honest here. You're not really missing too much of anything. I feel a lot better about this one, if I'm being honest, though. Ah, ah, clipped me right there. Too bad. This, though, is good. Now, I, I'm, I'm gonna kind of miss, uh, miss, uh, having my extra health and everything there, but the, uh, actually, I do still have gold as well as a cell, which was kind of the thing that I was really worried about losing, so good. And oh, what? How do you resist that? Ah, uh, which is harder, five boss cell or the elite mod? I think the elite mod has some very cheesable type of situations. I found out that uh, if you just go kind of heavy-ish on health and then uh, try to make a really big like rally build, that is actually a very good way to let you know stuff like elite kamikaze bats explode on you and then immediately get back all of your health. It's and also you know <laughs> really. The way that the game works these days, not all that much different from Elite-only mode. It's just uh, things are less tanky. Okay. Literally, literally just woke up. Oh, jeez. Uh, so you don't get boss cells from custom runs? Oh, you definitely do get them from custom runs. I, I don't know if there's anything that would prevent you, but if you, if you pick and choose your weapons, you can still get boss cells as you would normally at any, any other point in time. Okay, let's just get going here. I was told that you didn't. There might be some scenarios, like if you turn on uh, uh, curse chests, don't curse you. You know, something that is or infinite ammo. But I haven't actually tested that out at all, so I don't know. I just want to get to the giant. Okay, so first thing you need to do is open up the cavern. You open up the cavern by beating the game once. You get the homunculus rune, and that will allow you to get the key from the gigantic gaping uh, hole that was once that uh, mysterious door. And none of those block boss cells. Oh, so I guess it's just achievements then. So, there you go. <laughs> if you make it when you start with weapons with a hand, you don't get them. Or achievements. Okay. One boss cell means you at least beat the game once. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you can still open up. But yeah, once you get the, the key, all you gotta do is get down to the... Is get down to the... Come on, for real? <laughs> I gotta do is get down to the the graveyard, yeah, and then you open up the the passage there. You can you then have it opened up from any of the other places you can access that. Doing that thing where I'm roll where I'm running forward again. I still have no idea how exactly that works, but it's still doing it. That was some jank. I don't know, <laughs> but I mean usually you kind of have like the the. Smash Brothers style edge guarding type of thing where you're able to roll through that immediately as you climb up the ledge. I mean, I do that sort of thing a lot to avoid damage there, but it just didn't work that time. I think I missed the, the timing on it specifically. 
But that's just a lame excuse, really, now, isn't it? <laughs> How goes it? Uh, this one's going okay, but I am also really thinking I'm going to die quick. I'm going to try to... I want to... Uh, of course, I want to impress everybody in the chat here. That's just my uh, human nature, but, you know. You ever try doing or all of them at once the challenge presets in custom mode? I mean, I've done them a couple times doing them, like, stream-wise, but... The one that I really liked, that, that I really wanted to get a look at, the... Uh, adaptability does not work at all with almost got me uh, does not work at all with like five cell mode it uh, gives you it replaces your items with uh, unupgraded versions of it which is just a death sentence <laughs> every single time you go into the next area you have level one items it's terrible how do you unlock the giant oh once you finish the cavern you unlock the giant that's pretty much it <laughs> it's a uh, Unlocking the cavern is the hard thing, because after that point, all you gotta do is just get through the cavern. And then, yes, uh, Slumbering Sanctuary will then have that opened up. Uh, the, um... Now, oh, what is it called? Uh, the other one in the Sepulchre. The Sepulchre will have an entrance directly to the giant then. So, just focus on uh, making that key, getting that key to the graveyard, and then you'll be golden. Because I do think it's much easier to fight the giant after a run through the the sepulchre as opposed to the cavern most of the time. The cavern leaves you in a pretty vulnerable position. And on, on, I, I've heard some people think that you need to go through on like one or two boss cell mode to actually open up a, the cavern. You can do that on zero boss cell mode. You just have to have beaten the game once to get the homunculus room. And that's it. Oh, come on. Into the freaking... Hmm. Getting pushed places because enemies spawn on you is a generally a bad feat. No, no, no. Screw that. You can't just... I can't get screwed over like that. That's terrible. What's your favorite boss weapon? Uh, I don't know. Impaler? I think the best thing to use against the giant is a shield. Uh, Yeah, something like punishment I, I know can do a lot of damage. I prefer... Of course, I mean, I've said a bunch of times, going for a build, a damage over time build. I think that's kind of the most effective way to go about uh, getting uh, getting the most out of that fight. You can focus entirely on preventing yourself from getting hit at the same time that you also are just constantly doing a lot of damage. It's, it's a very effective build. Okay, I feel like I'm warmed up here. Oh, come on now. As soon as I said that, I jumped over that, I'd like to say. Ah, just the good old-fashioned, until you get the full thing, you're really not doing a whole lot of damage to enemies now, are ya? And, come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, Opitar is the best brutality weapon. Oh, no, that's a person's name. Uh, Boy's Axe is the best brutality weapon. I've also been uh, pretty impressed by the amount of damage that you can get out of the giant killer. Not against regular enemies, but against bosses, it is extremely effective. I mean, hell, the last time I used it, I got a, a perfect fight against the... Very nice. I got a perfect fight against the uh, Hand of the King, which is something that's hard to do, so... If you want to go a little bit of melee flavor, perhaps someone with a rampart or whatever, that's uh, not a bad idea. Uh, it's on beating two boss cell mode. I mean, just take the most overpowered sort of thing that you possibly can. Uh, best route is through Oshuary, go into the Sepulchre, grab all the curse chests if you can. Get you a lot of stats, a lot of stats. Get a decent amount of damage at the end of that you're probably going to be gravy as far as uh beating up the final boss goes do i want to what do i want to do what do i want to... i think i'm gonna keep what i got right now this is good unlock hokuto's bow with that build hokuto's bow is quite nice and i do have it unlocked it's just you know or uh, unless you're talking about one of the other builds that i was uh, speaking of because uh, with this one, I do have Hokuto's bow unlocked. It's just taking a while. I was thinking about that tactics podcast you made, and I'm convinced of playing a tactics run yesterday that needs to be an upgradable dodge mutation. Yeah, the podcast. I mean, not like literally. It's just um, pretty much hearing, hearing some of the feedback kind of had me uh, 
unsure of myself when it came to my assessment of tactics. And I'm still not entirely convinced that I'm just not, uh, that I'm just not playing, that I'm playing the game poorly. <laughs> Which, let's be honest, is always a possibility. And that's kind of what uh, prompted this sort of run here today, too. Just the idea that, hey, maybe I'll, I'm just bad at the game, and if I tried harder, I got the 30 kills, it doesn't matter. Then I could have a really good run going on. I don't know. We'll see. I'll take that, though. Uh, do you think survival is fine where it is, or do you think it needs a buff? I think survival's pretty good. The oh oh wow, this is a this is a fun combination of enemies to find. Uh, no, uh, uh, the thing with survival is really that it just does not play well with five cell mode. You know, with the whole malaise thing. I think that really it's fine. And honestly, aside from the whole tactics run, if I didn't have, I'm gonna continue rolling with what I got. If I didn't have uh, all of my progress get wiped out here, I would have probably done a tactics run showcasing the giant whistle today, if anything. I got a good idea of how I would want to do that. You know, maybe something along the lines of hemorrhage or getting like a damage re or a cooldown reduction off of uh, parrying with shields and just spamming that thing like a madman. I think it could be pretty fun and I could, and I could see that thing being pretty, very much overpowered. <laughs> Let's go. And is that reduction? I would like a reduction. Like a reduction, like a, a fine, fine spaghetti sauce. Yes, good. Okay, damage inflicted. All sounds pretty swanky. Well, from Turkey. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't do Turkish last time. I'll just go. A tactics build needs, definitely needs a buff. There's times where you can't avoid getting hit and almost kills you instantly. I mean, I think that... First half of the game, you're totally fine. Second half of the game, it gets a little bit sketchy. That's the, that's that's kind of where I'm coming from. But it's also like, you know, uh, I kind of like that combo. I Oh, whoa, no, I really like this combo. Forget about that. <laughs> wow, this is one of the best combos that you can possibly get with a Hokuto's bow. It uh, feeds into its own um, combos. Amazing. Uh, the nerf tanked flask rip a lot of your runs. Oh, I don't know. I was doing pretty... If I go and take the sort of build that I had before with a, a very overpowered giant killer, I think I can still deal with that. Tainted Flask is really an emergency that was more useful for generalized brutality runs. So, yeah. Yeah, this is one hell of a synergy. You tell me. This is like the ideal sort of get. Look at that. Look at it go. <laughs> it's like this is... Like, it's It's amazing. It's, it's honestly, uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited for the rest of this run, provided that I don't die to a curse. I'm probably going to die to a curse. But we'll see how that goes. This is... It, it is just, it's perfect. It's, it's like the perfect combination of man and machine here. Okay. He dies to a curse. Oh, I'm definitely going to die to a curse. That's usually how this goes. That's how I die 90% of the time when it comes to five cell runs that get past the, the first area after all. It just, uh, it is a foregone conclusion, I'd like to say. <laughs> what, what, are you bad at this game? Ah, you know it. <laughs> Do I want to go, you want to go pull up, like, my actual ratio of wins to deaths in this game? Because I think you'll find it quite lacking. <laughs> How's it going? Much better now that I got a pretty good Hokuto's bow. Oh, it's just amazing. However, we'll see how long it lasts, which is kind of what, what we're looking at now. All right, 25% damage reduction. I mean, I do lose out on the synergies, but... Ah, we're going glass cannon. We're going glass cannon. I'm not going to worry about really, you know, what first boss are you going to fight? I don't know. Should I... I guess I'm going to kind of see where the music takes me, but uh, I, it might be conjunctivious and spin that into going into the graveyard if I got the stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have the stuff, but I'm going to try. I'm going to make an attempt. Don't have 100% on poison target with my owl. I'm kind of hoping to get that soon. Because I think that, you know, c considering the fact that I can't get hit anyway, that's just a, a good idea. I think it's a, I think it's going to pay dividends by the end of this run like a, uh, like crazy. Okay. I can actually be a little bit riskier here, but not too risky. Just because of uh, how good this run is going so far. I don't know. I don't know. Hi from Portugal again. Ground Shaker gives you the boy's axe. Yes. Yes. 
It's the, the big old quadruped. Just look for the uh, most, most bovine type of character that you can in the cavern. That's one. I'd say your win-death ratio would be better without the silly challenge runs you keep and kept on doing. I'm going to be doing more of those soon enough. I've, I've been getting kind of uh, distracted by other projects. Persona. I'm talking about Persona. Stop being risky. You're going to regret it. Yeah, fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. I did kind of jump in my seat. Or, as Brinley says, never stop. Always be fast and loose. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I can't argue with that sort of logic. With the logic of, come on! Do it, though! Stop being invincible! <laughs> oh, he's so dang invincible, I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, good night, guys. I hope uh, y'all have a pan awesome time here. <laughs> I already sold the pan and then took it out of the rotation, so unfortunately, that is not going to be happening. Also, I don't really think that this is the sort of. Uh, Greed is good. All right, Gordon Gecko. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was going to be tempted by the man who is almost literally the devil here. Or something. I didn't actually watch that movie. Or the remake of that movie with um, Jonah Hill. Starring Jonah Hill as Greed Man 2, the sequel to Greed. I really got to get 100% on poison for this thing ASAP. Also, damage reduction on projectiles is going to be helping a lot. That's going to prevent me from dying in a very ignoble death to a... Yeah, I need that 100%. Uh, it's going to help me prevent me dying a very ignoble death to getting sniped by a Inquisitor, which I feel like is one of those things that you just kind of expect to happen over time when it comes to five-cell runs. R2 to... to... Yeah. <laughs> Hard to justify. What's going on? About to get my 60 kills? Getting a decent run here? Do think I'm going to die in one hit still. So, we'll kind of see how that goes. Next thing I'm going to be taking actually is going to be the uh, damage reduction from traps. The other thing that I'm worried about uh, dying to. Dying a very ignoble death to. Ancient sewers? I'm kind of thinking about it. We just want funny runs? I mean, I, I did the uwu thing. That was a funny voice. Does that not, not count enough? What more do you need from me? <laughs> ah, okay. I hate the defenders. Also another reason why it's probably not a terrible thing to get something like a giant's whistle. If the gi I hope the giant whistle is specifically programmed to always, always target the the defenders when they show up. Uh, protectors, protectors they're called. <laughs> Alex, it's your own minion. It's time for your. It's time for. It's your turn to be distrusted. Mwahaha, which I originally read as marijuana. I don't know why. I have no excuse for that. Uh. Alright. Great thing about magic missiles, you can snipe anybody from anywhere. Good. No, I don't need that. How good is acceptance? I'm currently on three boss cell. Okay, acceptance is great if you are. Not a speedrunner, but you do want to go fast. If you're somebody like me and you're like, I don't know how good this run is, so I want to stay cursed as little time as possible, don't take it. Or do take it. Don't don't miss it, <laughs> is what I was trying to say. But then I got kind of distracted by my own speaking. Uh, anyway, let's just go. And actually go grab this first and then go. Doc needs to... Oh, whoa, notice his bulge. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm pretty much constantly noticing bulges. I just don't mention it to the chat because I know they'll go crazy. It's like giving a a, a big steak to a hungry bear. <laughs> like you ban me and I die. I mean, it's just a brief death. You'll get better. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, what does acceptance do again? Uh, half... Half as much curse, but you get cursed eating food. So, it's decent. I don't know if it's like... Not quite the perfect sort of thing, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good for what you get out of it. Which is to say, not dying from curses, which tends to be the main way that I die in 5 style runs these days. Uh, aside from uh, beefing it against the, the final boss, as you know. <laughs> Very risky player. 
I'd rather die five times going fast and take it slow. I mean, it is it is decent for going fast, but I want to say that if you're like actually speed running, you can get better mutations. So it depends on how how serious are you about going fast. Are you so serious that you would call yourself a, a professional go faster, or you just like no, I'm willing to give up a little bit of damage just for the sake of not dying. <laughs> Or I'm willing to give up a decent mutation for the sake of... Wow, that's so many knife throwers. And they're all going to come up here. My Hokuto's bow brings the boys to the yard. Wow, that's a fast one. Whoa, that's also an equally fast one. I nearly got boxed. <laughs> Reveals invisible enemies. I kind of want that, to be honest. Wouldn't be the worst thing. But yeah, you can start to see, slowly but surely, the... Um, the whole idea of the, the glass cannon type of build going on here. Yeah, you know what? When we got uh, foggers here, I think that I'm going to err on the side of caution and make sure that I have more than enough uh, precautions against invisible enemies. Ah, that's a big hammer you have there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I the hope those boy I currently have is kind of one of the best ones you can possibly get. 200% as well. It's a pretty uh, hope those both seven. That's pretty good. I'm not going to be giving this thing up at any point in time. Now you cry because you can't ter carry turrets anymore. I know, right? It's they were they were so powerful as far as a glass candy type of run goes. Take out enemies, no problem. All right, let's get into a yeah yeah. See if I took that curse chest that would have been in the four cell door. Would have been up against a, uh, this fellow. Which would have been bad. Ah! Stop clipping me like that. There we are. And, yes. And, uh, okay, I do also like this, but I'm gonna keep the invisible thing for right now. I'll take that one as I'm leaving the area. I mean, I've done only shield before. I've done uh, no rolling before. I've done a lot of different things, but they've all been at different times during the game's history, so, you know. It can all be... It's, it's kind of uh, questionable what you want to consider canon. Like, yeah, shield only run was not too bad. It was actually getting to the point back when the brutality update was first introduced that I had to stop myself from doing shield runs over and over because they were so good against fighting the, uh, the the timekeeper. What's the deal? Oh, just re-getting all the items that I've uh, lost. There's been a new update and all that, so. Uh, blank slate to reset uh, for my experimental save file. And I re-get all the stuff. In the meantime, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be uh, doing a little bit of... Can you still grab turrets with the homunculus? I cannot. Nope, not possible. They have removed that ability from the game. Yeah, uh, do a little bit more tactics. Just tacticking it up in the hope that I can get good stuff. Pretty sure he couldn't beat Hand of the King with Slam only. I mean, I don't know, man. There's some stuff. <laughs> you, I, I do think that if you were looking at a very... Ah, into the thing. Unfortunate, but hey, that's how it's gonna go. Uh, collector syringe only when? I mean, probably when. I don't know, because that's one of those things where it's like the spoilers right in the title. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of like you wanna be careful. Moving turrets was a slime ball. With a slime ball was awesome, cheap. Oh, it was very much cheap, but it was also like. You know, you're working with something like this. You're working with the, the things that use the turrets. You're going to get a lot of, use of usage out of that. And I don't think I really want to give that up. Good. That's what I'm looking for. Excellent. Is that a Naruto reference? Yeah, sure. Probably. <laughs> uh, 200 watching and only 16 likes. Oh, I don't want to. I, I, if people want to give me likes, that's their prerogative. I'm not going to be fishing for that. That would just be... I mean, but if you if you like the video, I mean, you can just... Uh, don't, don't, don't click the dislike. Oh, they already clicked the dislike. Oh, well. It happens like that. Um, Just, again, got to be very careful, cautious, calm, cool, collected with this weapon. You saw how much that Elite Spinner did to me. And that was only a single elite spinner. Imagine if I got comboed by multiple enemies. Why, so much worth. 
worth, worth, worth it. <laughs> so much worse. Okay, two, one, and we good. Get that six poison synergy in on there, and we're good. All right, all right, all right. It is a very stressful type of build. And each time I go into the next area, it's going to be not as good. But over time, this is going to shape up to be a great run. I'm hoping. Really hoping. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm looking at this right now, and I'm just thinking... Uh... Do I, in fact, want to go into the sewers? I really... I, I think I'm not going to go into the sewers. It's just, uh... Ugh, it's just a little bit too risky for my blood. So instead, we'll grab the curse chest, go into the ossuary, should be... Oh, and also my stuff. Uh, I just like the stream, Doc. Uwu blushes. Oh, okay. I mean, you did say uwu, so I guess I gotta, guess I gotta accept that. No, wait. You said like it. I said dislike it <laughs> because that's apparently where I am in my life right now. Ugh, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady is boring, though. I'm getting bored just watching myself play. <laughs> uh, good. Kind of hoping that I wouldn't have an entire area before this. Oh, well, and Uwu wins the race. Great. No sewers, poison bad. Yeah, but the poison I got against the enemies is pretty good. No, it's just gonna be, uh, it's just gonna be a bad time overall. Gonna have Sans Undertale make an appearance, and nobody wants that. <laughs> it's boring, boring with myself. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, no, I, ah, oh, boy. Uh, greed is good, don't trust Alex. All right. <laughs> I mean, seems like we got a pretty split decision on this whole greed thing. V, good versus bad. Weird point division, why so little survival? I mean, I'm going full, full, full on into tactics. Everything I have is going into tactics. And the only reason I have so much brutality is because I'm getting it off my amulet. So, it's like, this is... This is a true glass cannon. I'm going to be trying it. I'm going to be... Really make an attempt here. The only mean enemy I always get hit by are kamikazes, and it's irritating. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I think that uh, Magic Missile is going to really shine here. Anytime you're next to a kamikaze, you're going to immediately zap it with your cool missiles. And that's not terrible. Been watching some of the old runs to see how far this game has come. <laughs> uh, I hope that includes myself as well. Let's grab that. I'm not going to spend all of my money on... Getting, on getting, uh, what, what am I thinking of? Uh, uh, flash charge. Flash charges aren't, like, super essential right now, after all. If I can save some cashola, uh, that's only better for me. Slow. Slow, do some all. Yeah, you can really outrange guys with this sort of thing, especially with this sort of build. So, uh, okay. Saw that. Oh, boy. Remember the last time I was in this situation on stream? <laughs> oh, I actually planned for that this time. Oh, boy. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Just slow. And there's a curse. Perfect. Parfait. Of course, that's only one of many curses that I'm going to be getting over the course of this run, so don't get too comfortable. Get our Dace engagement and masochist. Yeah, I'm uh I'm I'm not going this is this is an interesting build, but I do think that as far as mutation spread goes, this is gonna protect me the most without, you know, going fully into uh like a dead inside type of build. It's like, this is, the, these are, all three of these are my panic buttons. These are all my panic buttons alongside my amulet giving me 75% damage reduction on, on projectiles. Just because I'm going glass cannon doesn't mean that I need to fully commit to damage in every single way possible. At least that's how I see it. Okay. Uh, gold as well as a cell. I do want those extra stats. Uh, oh, well. 
I'll, uh, there will be more opportunities to... Hey, 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 stop hitting me in the back. <laughs> I do not appreciate that. Well, those things don't even cause uh, malaise, so it's not that big of a deal, but still. <laughs> yeah, it seems super safe other than being cursed. I mean, I don't know. Oh, boy, we got the three cursed chests going on this time, and I also came into here with a cursed chest. This is a, this is a stat-rich area. Will I be able to handle it, though? Ah, I never played five boss cell, but why do, you, why do you fight to... Why does everyone fight failed experiments cautiously? They have this really annoying dodge move. When Like, the first time you're going to hit them, they're going to dodge out of the way. And that is... It's... It, it means that you're going to sometimes get hit by them, even though you should have been able to blitz them down within seconds. It's kind of hard to explain. If you if you ain't in the know, what's up? Well, we doing a. I mean, this is a decent tactics run, but oh boy, I mean, you know, decent tactics is uh, always just setting yourself up for failure later, isn't it? On being extra super cautious. Mm. Okay. Oh, boy. Just be careful. There's nothing down there that's about to zap me with a big electric field. Like, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Pyrotechnics still good? I think Pyrotechnics is great. It doesn't have quite the same level of, like, cheesiness that Magic Missile can sometimes have. But you do also get a very, very easy to fulfill uh, critical condition. And if you're using something with, like, a high... Uh, Cooldown rate, something like uh, Instinct of the Master of the Arms, can be very effective with it. You know, throwing down something like, if you manage to get a, I don't know, let's say, uh, Lacerating Aura that implies oil, it's like, that can be magical. Just spam that thing endlessly by endgame. You can try to read my name, uh, Kankivanto Ozademir? I, I have no idea. No, I can't. <laughs> Double crossbow matic or heavy turret? I'm going with the... Okay, here's the thing. Because I'm going with a real uh, glass cannon build, the double crossbow matic is going to be shooting more often. And that means that we're going to bypass like damage caps on enemies a lot easier than if I didn't have this sort of build. There we go. Heavy turrets otherwise are pretty good. You get some good stuff from those. You get the you get the damage buff. You get the uh, no. Uh, you get the damage buff. You get the stun time. It's like for regular enemy usage, I would say you almost can't go wrong. But I do think that over time, I'm gonna find this build a little bit more effective. And besides, it's also just because I have the poison synergies and all the poison stuff going on here that this is being exceptionally effective here as well. Oh, great setup. <laughs> Love that setup. Stun those dudes forever. Don't need that. Don't need no credit card to ride this train. Ooh, that was close. But uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just tearing through enemies. This is the sort of thing that you can get with a very good tactics run, but it's going to become harder mid game and past that. You swat the range of magic missile, electric whip. Whip has less damage and can't pierce. Yeah. And I mean, that would be, it's kind of in a lot of ways like the old school. Thank you. Oh, I wasn't actually malaised up at all. It's kind of in a lot of ways like the old school electric whip in how I use it, <laughs> to be honest. If, if we're looking at this objectively. If you look at, like, the very old, old electric whip, like, yeah, it was, it was pretty much effective in the exact same way. I am the god of Nya. You know, like Nya. Nya. <laughs> whip is pretty good now. Whip is pretty good, but I have not had good luck using it because I'm bad. So, I mean, actually, every whip. E that can apply to every, every whip, really. Uh, can you read, uh... Khan as uh, Jean. 
Oh, okay. I can see that a little bit. I, I can kind of see that, but of course, it's like not even a little bit familiar with uh, that language. Oh, no. Okay, that's actually fine. Not the ideal sort of like set up for fighting an elite, but at least it's one that's not going to teleport to me. Okay. Uh, been doing oo-woos for a while now. I mean, I think that I've always had an affinity for the oo-woo. So I have been quick to encourage it at all points in time. Once again, befitting the fact that I am the worst. <laughs> but you already knew that. Okay, right, fine. Just kind of worried that there's going to be something else down here. Doesn't look like it, though. Okay, the tracking on these weapons is good. It's not so good that I can shoot a Hokuto's bow literally straight forward and have it go down in a 90 degree angle. That's not quite the, the same sort of thing. All right, all right, let's go. Didn't start joining these streams until the Terraria stream. Really? I mean, I the Terraria stream was pretty fun and everything, but it's like, I wouldn't really say that that's a, oof, my best, uh, my best work. That was uh, a little bit worrying. Uh, prudence is the best, better part of valor and all that. Okay. Should probably stop killing everything. I do have one more cursed chest to go. Uh, what's your Twitch handle anyway? Dr. Inferno Firebird. I made it before I made the YouTube channel. Otherwise, it would have just been Doc Firebird. My YouTube channel name is just a shortened version of the Twitch name. And also the shortened version of the real name that I go by? Yeah, I'll just go with that. Uh, I know I just never joined them for that long, just decide to. Hey, sure. It was a fun time. <laughs> Getting drunk and playing Terraria for four hours. I, d I have actually recorded more Terraria past that with a new character, just because I do think I might do something of a little bit of post-commentary type of series at some point in time. It's good stuff. Oh, thank you, Brimley. That is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, final curse chest. Let's go. Ah, since the Boy's Axe has been nerfed, what do you think is currently the best build? I do still think Boy's Axe is pretty great, but I have been uh, talking up. I have been uh, really churching up the the getting a really nice build going with uh, with Giant Killer. Because I do think the hardest part of Dead Cells is fighting the bosses. And that is the perfect thing. The perfect thing to uh, compliment a, a bad a boss fight that you're not doing good with. Why did I take brutality? I'm too used to taking brutality. Oh boy. Oh well, it's uh, good good health for later. You never know when you're gonna need that health. Which is probably soon. Yes, Alex. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, giant killer and heavy crossbow is a. Uh, Good combo. I mean, probably, because the heavy crossbow does bypass b a boss damage caps by, you know, shooting out four arrows and all that. It's just, I do think that having something like a shield, something like Hokuto's bow, something that will give you utility over... Something that gives you utility over... Come on, seriously. Over just an extra damage source. I think that having something that will buff you up rather than uh, just, like, something that will work, you know counter to that is is my general way of going about doing stuff uh giant killer assault shield assault shield can do some good stuff assault shield does have stuff like the um uh just the sweeping motion can take out the the bombs that the hand of the king throws down really easily and it's also you know a shield so you get like the momentary invincibility everything like that there's a lot of good stuff to be said about it i will yeah, but the owl's also kind of flanked by a few traps, so I want to, for the time being, uh, try to clear myself of curses before I go take on that particularly devilish uh, conundrum. Okay, I'm actually, like, killing things with, with ground pounds. Oh, yeah, the giant killer is dropped from the giant. It's like, it's it's exactly where you think you would get it. <laughs> you get it by killing the giant. Okay. Ah, no. 
Dying Killer and Assault Shield is popular, a popular speedrun build? Well, I mean, the fact that it does the whole uh, sweeping motion is what makes it so good for speedrunning. But it's also that, you know, it's a... It's a good shield as well. You can get some good stuff going on there. And get wrecked. Wreck yourself before... Check yourself before you wreck yourself, because shotgun bullets are bad for your health. Let's go check out that owl. I think the owl would actually be a pretty nice take with this if I can get it synergized with my poison. Aside from that, the Uwool. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, do you pair it with powerful grenade? I mean, I would, because, yeah. You plan on getting a Minecraft uh, stream going anytime soon? I mean, I really do like Terraria, but it's like, you know, Minecraft is one of those games that everybody is so familiar with, everybody knows about. You know, that's actually almost the reason why you wouldn't want to do that, though, because it's like, you know, I don't know anything about Minecraft. I do know stuff about Terraria, at least. Not a lot, but something. Use homunculus? Nah, didn't really matter. I was expecting his name to be something along the lines of Dominique. Uh, uh, Dominic Doc? Yeah, I guess I could kind of see that. Uh, no, it's, it's really just that, because, um, somebody... I'm not going to name names here. Decide to look at my uh, the past usernames that I've used with uh, with my Steam account. So I kind of had to let the cat loose there. <laughs> you know who you are. Uh, Minecraft isn't difficult to learn. I mean, yeah, but you know, there's always going to be like a little bit of tech and everything that you got to learn first, though. Poison. Poison. There we go. Let's go. Uh, where do you stream Terraria? I mean, it was on Saturday? Saturday? Like, midday on the on the YouTube channel. I mean, it's it was kind of terrible. You got to learn all about how my uh, chat is obsessed with uh, eating cans and plastic bags. You know, anything that you would expect from usually a caprine sort of mammal. Uh, apparently, my chat is also a big fan of. Oh, good timing. <laughs> And go full glass cannon? I mean, that's the plan. Okay. Get that good poison synergy in on there, and then let's go. And... Well, there you go. Ah, kill for a bot of the Terraria stream. Fine, I'll... Give me one second here. Go put up the VOD. That, that, uh, Terraria is now unlisted and in the unlisted videos list. There you go. Enjoy, I guess. <laughs> I mean, 20 is not as much as I would have expected. You'd think I could get some more after this point here, if I'm being honest. Uh, remember crafting recipes might be the remembering crafting recipes might be the most difficult thing in combat, but they added an in-game guide for crafting too. Yeah, Terraria has a very similar sort of thing. For Dark Souls 3, the over Bloodborne. Uh, no, I prefer Bloodborne. I think Bloodborne is great. It is a good uh I mm, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take this. Just too good. Reroll. I'm gonna re-roll it and hopefully get poison. I mean, <laughs> okay, uh, chat, should I go this glass cannon? It does feel like maybe a bad idea. I mean, I got the money to re-roll it a couple times here. I'm seeing yes, soap bubble cannon, yeah, I know. I, I, it's controller! <laughs> I think you'll die? Well... We're all gonna die someday. <laughs> Just me and Luke sooner. No, how do I search for an unlisted video? They're all in the unlisted video list. You'll know the one because it says bad content. <laughs> oh. You don't have to worry about getting hit if everything dies immediately. I mean, I do though. Like, bombers can hit me even though they will die immediately. So, um, where do you, where, where are you thinking? Stilt Village or probably a place that I'm even more likely to die. Don't, don't, no, don't do it. It's a bad idea. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's like, uh, yeah, the tracking, you do have good tracking. 
Stilt is better. Still village. Still village. Okay, I'm also going to defer to the knowledge of. I mean, I do have disengagement. Uh, no, can't. I can't. It's too much. There. That's actually much better. Okay. Uh, I wish all weapons had a natural crit that could be triggered with a small percentage chance. I mean, aside from the crits you get from with specific conditions. Do it. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. People were saying no. And this is actually kind of a better one in some ways. It gives me a little bit more poison synergy and everything. That's good. I need that. Not that bad. I did four times once. Good lord. That's... I mean, that's got to be really powerful. It's just... My god. You just... just Ooh, uh, no. Don't actually need this. Ooh, I should go fight the giant next. I mean, I could. <laughs> like, that's not an impossibility. Okay. Uh, I, all I gotta do is go through the sepulcher, and then we'll be all be having a good time in Giant Town <laughs> when I die. Okay, actually, that is pretty good against those guys, I guess. I, I guess you're right. All right, jump down here and get caught in my trap. Very nice. Okay, I don't know, man. Just plan to go on the full run or hand of the king. Oh, I'm gonna go as far as I can. <laughs> There's no reason why not to. It's not like I. It's not like I'm going for a, a streak that I'm going to lose or anything. <laughs> Might as well. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else want to step to this? Slick says, them quick there is. Oh, yeah, as long as you know they're coming, you can really, really take them down. Oh. What else we got here? Does anybody play Diablo 3 in chat? I mean, I played a decent amount of Diablo 3, but it was really mostly just for, you know, like, I, I didn't get into the big loot content of it, just the regular, regular stuff. It's white wine, so it's not so bad. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can use that to, like, clean out stuff, if anything. Not like uh, spilling a whole glass of red wine on yourself or something like that. Or some sort of mixer. Ah, almost got me. Ah, <sighs> just never get hit. Never get hit. B3 was really fun. I just hate how not all builds are optimal. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's one of those things with balance. You never know if you don't go. It's, it's hard to get it. It's hard to, and it's even harder to keep it if you're going for, if you're still making new content. What's the most OP build? I've been Dual Boys Axe and Heavy Grenade. Dual Boys Axe Heavy Grenade is pretty good. I like Infantry Grenade more because it gives you, because it's faster. And if you have stuff like Poison Synergy, you can apply it a lot quicker. Also, if you're hitting Damage Cap, you um, can hit Damage Cap more often, which is, in general, a good thing. Uh, but, I mean, if you want to go real risky type, uh, having my uh, info windows block and stuff. I'm gonna go really, you know, real risky type. You can go for like a turrets alongside that instead of grenades. Uh, we were just talking about how good. Yeah, get down here. We were just talking about how good the. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm losing it here. I'm trying to talk too much. Uh, but giant killer, giant killer. We're just, just talking about how good that was. Oh, the J word is forbidden here. Jerk in it? <laughs> Is that's No, it's not kicking in. I'm just getting distracted because I'm trying to also play the video game. You you know, speaking of my old videos, it's just like I hope you enjoyed that saga. <laughs> that's a fun one. Of course, it's not like I've fully gotten over that either, so what am I even saying? <laughs> Oh, what do you got? Damage you take inflicted on enemy is is uh, uh, gold, but no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll take a different route, Sepulchre. I mean, that is, it, it's like that is good, but in my experience, that, that sort of route doesn't actually give you all that, that many more uh, stats than the, the less risky one that I'm taking here. I mean, it's just, bleh. Grave a Jojo, Jojo character? Uh, the one from the part that people haven't seen yet. Who's the villain? Because he's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. 
no. My ex-sister? You divorced your sister? How do you even get, like, the paperwork for that? Um... Uh, that route is more fun. You play for fun. I mean, I... There's a certain... I play for fun, but I also play to win. And I feel like I've been playing for fun a little bit too much lately, if you know what I mean. Gotta have at least a somewhat successful run. To an extent. We'll kind of see how that goes over time, though. Patchel says there's new options for turning off curse pop-ups and displaying health as a percent. Ooh. Please. Uh, smart roll. Curse pop-up, please. <laughs> I control... Only percentage of life left as opposed to the actual number of health points. I mean, I guess we can check it out. It's not like it really... Oh! Okay, there we go. Uh... Not like it really matters all that much. I suppose it's really if you are, like, um, trying to figure out, like, oh, the, uh, the basic food item heals 10%. How much is that? That sort of thing. Okay, let's go. Uh, what's your opinion on double Valmont's whip build? I, I've been told that's good. I haven't used it myself. It does seem like it could be pretty good. I don't know. Go right in here, and then let's see what we got happening. See what's crack a Because this is where I'm going to find my first of, what, three curse chests here? Ugh. What's your favorite Uwu character? Um, what is a good Uwu character? Oh, yeah, man, I jumped there because I was expecting the pop-up to come up. Uh, what's a good Uwu character? Uh, I don't know. Kind of blank in here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. please don't partake in incest. Sure, sure, sure. Of course. Oh, he's got to be telling me not to partake in incest after all. I, mean, I say it's fine, but you know. What do you say your favorite? What's your favorite video game? Uh, NetHack. I every time it's always NetHack. NetHack is just this amazing game that goes from being an RPG. Like, evolving into the most advanced puzzle game you'll, you'll ever play over time. It's great. Doc, please say psych right now. Psych! Psych! How about that? Is that good enough? <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to be real cautious here. Real cautious. Oh. Oh, no, that's... Anybody else? Anybody else? Taking all comers. Taking all comers as much as I can. All day, every day. Oh, is the update actually live? I mean, if you're on tactics, yes. If you're on anything else, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh, really? This is quality content. Hey, man. You do what you got to when it comes to uh, dead cells, I'd like to say. Anybody else? Anybody else want to be step into this? Oh, this is a legendary item. Ah, yes, and here they come. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go. Nope, nope, stop that. Stop trying to bite me. I can get a potion charge. If necessary, so I'm not completely out of luck if things go poorly here. However, I am still a oh a rampart. I, I I can't really take that though. That's just not it's not quite of the correct sort of build here that I'm going for. I mean, I, everything I have is a little bit too well um too well synergistic right now for I, I turned off the thing <laughs> keep forgetting you need oh do you need the pan uh two boss cells no i think you just need to be in the alpha to get the pan i'm really not entirely sure but three stats it's like yeah but three stats but one dead me if i give up some of my synergies here what else we got going on here uh book her on out i guess don't try to kill that elite, because it will kill me. Let's go. Go Sepulchre. I mean, people want the giant. I'm going to go see if uh, 
we're in a good enough scenario to to go fight the giant. Not convinced. My dudes, I miss Marty. I'd like to get him back here. I told him when I was going to be streaming Terraria that he should be online, but he didn't send me any messages back. So, like my hands are tied. I kind of like that, but um, I'm going to take you. Yeah. Got the pierce. Got the poison. It's all looking good. Arbiters appear in the cavern on any difficulty. I do think that that's how it works. Couldn't quite tell you, but yeah. This will be a giant failure. Well, we'll see. I'll be happy with your scrolls if you get 32. I mean, we're on track. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> there's, there's a real possibility. It's just, uh, will I survive? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, slowly but surely. One left. One left. Come on. There we go. Okay, there's one curse chest. Two more left in the entire game. The witness burned him out, and now he doesn't want to play anymore. He was telling me that he wanted to do the, the Mario's Time Machine thing, but I also haven't heard back from him about that. So, hey, it's all on him. Whenever he wants to. <laughs> and don't jump into that. And struggling big time on boss cell, on one boss cell. I mean, if you uh, complete the game, you might have the... The... What do you call it? Uh boomerang if you've ever gotten that that would actually be a not terrible tag just go double that and go survival build that'll leave you alive for a very long time and you'll be pretty happy with it i think okay just random oo woo passing don't mind don't mind well don't mind if i do if i oo woo okay and there we go ah terrible and as of right, and as of just yet, there's no reason for me to not post the VOD of this, so unfortunately that is going to be recorded for history. <sighs> really gotta think a little bit more about this sort of stuff when I'm saying it. How do you stream why do you stream more on Twitch rather than YouTube? I it's really more of a um I am uh, fame hungry and I can't stand the fact that not as many people watch me on Twitch. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. Although I am probably going to be streaming on Twitch after this, it's just going to be... Oh, how do you get the kill streak to appear above your cells? Uh, in options, you got gameplay right here. Display the number of, skill, number of enemies killed without being hit. It is 100% uh, suggested. Definitely would tell you to do it. Fame the movie? Yes, of course. Uh, fame the Ira... What's her name? Uh, Ira something song. Gonna fly high and all that. Oh! Appearing from the darkness. And anybody else? I mean, the the owl is actually doing a surprisingly good job kind of keeping on enemies that try to attack me, but like it's, it's still a, a thing. Doc, your behavior of encouraging Uwu in your chat is making me worried. Oh, man, you don't even know the stuff I've encouraged in my chat. It's rather licensed. I, uh, what? That's how I got hit for the first time in so long? Jeez, I tell ya. Oh, well, at least I'm down to 69%, so hey. Uh, I can make this a reason for you to not bot this. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in it now. Nope. Get out of here, you. Oh. Can't believe that was how I got hit. I want to get the 60 item. If I'm going to be going for the giant, I want to get the the 300% like level 20 items that you get in the doors for that, after all. Anybody else? No. I want to know the health and damage cap numbers for all the bosses. I have no idea, yeah. I mean, it's it would be nice if there was a little way to, like, actually know that, but, hey, I'm just glad that we even get, um, that we even get, like, uh, numbers 
in the first place, like health bars. Not every game gives you that. Guys, come on. Probably gonna have you somebody teleporting to me over here in... Okay. And good. All right, one more enemy and we should be good. Isn't it the... Wait, what? <laughs> because suffering is my middle name. Ooh, ooh. No, I don't think that was probably what you're responding to, but that uh, was a good one to come back to anyway. All right, we good. We good. We gravy. One more curse chest. At least I'm not going to die to curses past that one. So, like, that's good. Uh, God is a woman. Yeah, I saw... Um, uh, what was that one movie where Alanis Morissette played God? Yeah, Dogma by Kevin Smith. Okay, well, that took so long that people probably forgot what I was talking about. But hey, it was worth it by the end there. <laughs> yeah, now we got got to wait for that uh, chat to catch up here. Ah, almost got me. And we're good. What a time to be alive. Huh. God is not a woe man. Whoa, man. Doc is still untrendy. And that will remain true for the rest of linear time. Okay. What do we got down here? Nothing I'm going for right now. Just looking for that final curse chest. Because I want to get that off my back ASA. Doc is actually Alanis Morissette with a voice filter. I mean, you know, to this day, people have still not figured out what celebrity I actually am. You know, posing as a as a mild-mannered Twitch streamer, or YouTube streamer, video content creator. Do you know who I could be? I'll take any guesses in chat as long as they're not totally embarrassing. <laughs> uh, speaking of fish, I'm surprised you don't have a fish weapon in Dead Cells. I slap some bugger with a tuna. I mean, that's a classic one. <laughs> Tom Hanks, okay, okay. Morgan Freeman, of course. <laughs> Dennis Rodman, that's probably like closer. I, I would say on the scale of like Tom Hanks to Dennis Rodman, one is more likely than the other. And, ugh, I'm not even gonna mess around with that. That's gonna be a bad time. Quebec? <laughs> ZF Quebec. I don't actually know who that is. Jack Black. Well, he has his own channel, so I don't really know why. Like, he, he wouldn't need a second one. Also, I watched some of his videos. He doesn't really... I feel like, uh... Um... Uh... <laughs> how to not be insulting. Hey, you know what? Heat Vision and Jack was cool. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Oh, that'd be a good one. Uh, some Jav star? Oh, if only. All right, last one, let's go. How do you get the magic missile bl blueprint? It's Arbiters. You're looking for Arbiters, so uh, have a happy jaunt into the cavern and grab it from him. Uh, thankfully, I got it when Arbiters were a lot more common around the, the game's landscape here. Charlie from Always, uh, Charlie Day. His name is Charlie Day, but also a good guess. CM Punk, I do have an affinity for, uh, for In Living Colors uh, Cult of Personality. Which, by the way, is that not the craziest song to come out to? <laughs> like, if you're gonna enter the stage, like, you know, uh, it's, I don't know, it's just a, a weird one. Even for like a heel, I tell you one and one make three. It's called personality. I exploit you, you still love me. I'm the smiling face on your TV. <laughs> like, man, that is, that is, I, I, you know what, I guess it works. If I, okay, here, how about this? If I ever actually am walking onto a stage, make my song Cult of Personality, no holds barred. It's a great song to come out to. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a great song, period. Like, everything off of Vivid is a great song, but it's just the... It is just a weird message to be sending to anyone. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, seven enemies, like, Im immediately entering the room. That was pretty, that was pretty schmanky. Uh, okay. Okay, and... 
One left. And okay, okay. Whew. Alan Rickman. Oh, that would also be a good one. I mean, I've already talked about how I I would fancy myself as a Tim Curry type of character if I could possibly get to that po point in my life, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> Alan Rickman would also be a good alternative. And Tony J, of course, if we're just going to be talking about it. I mean, really, does it just come down to the fact that I want to be uh, Gabriel Knight? Perhaps. And I mean, there's still time. There's still time to become Gabriel Knight. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, chat, I gotta ask. We go in for El Gigante, or we go in for the Timekeeper? Ed Helms. Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> you didn't get the chest. No, it wasn't a chest. It was a double item room, but I don't really care. So I'm seeing giant, 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 Gigante. Giant. I did say El Gigante. <laughs> Timekeeper. I mean, all right. Let's go. Aren't you too young to be Mr. Rickman? Also, uh, he has unfortunately passed, so that would also be another issue there. <laughs> John Krasinski. Oh, man. Now, that would also a pretty likely one if you were going to choose anybody. Don't die. I do have the heart. Don't forget that I have the heart. That would actually be kind of good, but let's... Let's go with the ye old bread and butter, 300% magical missile. Reroll this to get poison. It's gonna be great. I hope. We can only hope. When all else is lost, we can only hope. That'll work. <laughs> I was I was getting worried there for a second. It was getting real expensive to reroll that thing. Do you have Captain Planet? I mean, yes, but only in the way that the power is mine. And that's about it. Are you Ed Helms? I was going to just get Ed Helms and um, Stephen Colbert mixed up for some reason. Even though they're really not like that similar or anything. Ah! <laughs> Alright then. Ah! <sighs> Immediate disengagement. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Did you expect anything less? I mean, you know how this these builds go, after all. Oh. Ah! The things... There we go. <laughs> now this is pretty epic. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> Makes you feel inadequate in my giant runs. I mean, to be fair, did you see what happened at the very start? And then I kind of was successful, but it's like, who boy. <laughs> the. Aside from that hiccup in the beginning, it's well done. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Like, I'll, I'll take what I can get, but boy. <laughs> boy, howdy. Ooh. Welcome to tactics. I mean, it's working. You can't say it's not working. It's just... Ooh. <laughs> All right, time for me to unlock Giant. <laughs> Good luck. He can be uh, a little bit of a tricky, a tricky dude. Epic victory royale. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> the damage was really good, to be fair, but like, boy. Oh, wow, we immediately, eh? Not even giving me like a second to prep up or anything. Okay, number one victory royale. Oh, I will take that. Yoink. And, uh, I don't know. Let's just, hey, kind of see where this goes from here, then. Just don't use a great sword or any other low, slow. Oh, yeah, uh, melee weapons are hard to do, are hard to, you know, deal with a giant with like that. But, like, uh, it's, it's like slow ones doubly so. All right, Hokuto, so fire, soldier's resistance, dead inside, emergency triage, all good takes. 
Wolf Trap isn't doing all that much. I mean, I couldn't really... Uh, it's going to be better when I get up against other bosses. Basically. Because... Because, um... The problem right now is that Wolf Trap is suffering from... Like, the fact that I couldn't actually use it on the... The, the Giant. You know, because the Giant was... Uh, his hands are in the air. But, like, for example, to check out the... Like, that would have been a good example if, you know, it worked. <laughs> sure, whatever. Poisons enemies and wound me is always a good way to get a little bit of extra stuff here. Lost my ooh-woo for a second there. Well, it's a good thing you found it. What is life? Life is not worth living without an ooh-woo. Ugh. But you can kind of see where this sort of uh, build wouldn't be as effective in, like, a... Uh, in a, let's say, a melee type of thing. You know, with the whole, like, a problems that you come across using a, a dagger, or trying to use, like, aura of laceration, all that sort of stuff. This one is working pretty well. I still think that it is, it is the, the razor's edge type of, like, well working, but that's why you have stuff like, uh, why you grab stuff like um, disengagement in the first place for points in time where you run into this stuff. <laughs> Almost got me. Oh, gotta get unmodded because you lost your uwu card. <laughs> uh, I'm an uwu simulator, isn't that enough? 32 stats? I can get more than that. Like, 30 stew is still baby stats. Certainly... Certainly by the end of this, I should be up to like 35 plus. Don't even step to this. I would really like to get that 75% damage reduction, but I just don't think it's going to be happening. You too. That's why Magic Missile's real good. That tracking can counter more than a few enemies pretty well. 42 stats make it happen. Ah, oh, yes, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. But I don't think, I don't think we're going to be getting up to that point. <laughs> Uh, unless I, unless like in the last area I managed to get one of those necklaces that has four stats on them and they're all tactics. Of course, what are the chances of that? Uh, I'm sure somebody could actually figure it out pretty easily, but not right now. Not me, not right now. Combinatorics has never been my speciality and it's not going to start being it right now. Okay, but yeah, there, there, there's a good example of why the, uh... Yeah, let's just not even. Uh, there, there's a good example of why, like, the, the wolf trap is going to be effective eventually. Speciality. You know, that was actually something I was planning to do when I was playing Celeste. Uh, was always pronounce the game's name like Caleste. <laughs> but I never, I think I did that once in, like, the first episode, never again. Too bad, really. Okay, well, we can leave right now, but, meh. About 0.3% assuming the, each stat is determined independently out of the others. I would think so. And it's like I will be getting a couple more stats here, but not enough to, like, uh, get to that point. So what's new with the game? Uh, just a little bit of rebalancing recently from what I understand. But uh, nerfing my precious uh, tainted flask. But aside from that, it doesn't really seem like there's anything else uh, new going on. If you've seen, like, the last couple videos that I've been doing... It's pretty much that. All right. My brain cells are most certainly dead after I read your screen, screen description. What, you don't like the oo-woos? Come on, man. Gotta get up and get down with the oo-woo. Let's go. There are, the, there are seven new woo, six new woo weapons, that's right. And they are all dropped from bosses or the one you get from the pan, which is from shopkeepers. Don't quite get the poison explosion, but like, I'm more worried about bosses anyway, so whatever, man. I also do still get poison off of the uh, the wolf trap, too, so. Uh, yeah, that ain't happening, dude. Just gotta find the, the dual tracker fight, and that's about it. Reduced max and increased min to kill, and it's like, I guess... I guess? I don't know. I don't... 
Like, I just think it, I, it's, it's wanting overpowered things all that wrong. Can you truly call me a monster when all I want to do is win the game? That was close. The answer is no, you can't. Okay. Ah, oh, what do you got? Gold as well as a cell. I want the 75% damage reduction. Why are you being so stingy, game? Also, hello. Hello? Is this an wolf when we place? Terrible. Oh, oh yeah, I shouldn't forget that these guys are now in here and probably should be watching out for them. Uh, what do you got? I mean, I like the owl, though. But the heavy turret's pretty all right. Doc, stop. What, what do you mean? Is this not what you wanted? Are you not entertained? And just get up here and get out, like, right now. There. Glass cannon, baby. Oh, I can die happy now. Thank you. Oh, yeah, now that that, uh... Now that basically I started channeling... Once again, uh, talking about uh, Panutes. <laughs> stole, um, stole Tomb of Friends from him. Now I'm stealing his hello bit. <laughs> Come back to streaming, Panutes, if you want to take them back from me. I think you'll find them quite difficult to wrest from my grasp. I'm gonna get the enlisted VOD. Oh no, this is gonna go public. <laughs> How can it not? Also, if I do actually manage to, you know, beat this, it, that, that would also be good. All I want is sadism back. Sadism was too good. And I think you can understand. I mean, it's much like I I, I want to see uh, Temporal Distortion come back, but that's not going to, to happen. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go. Voice crack for the uwu. I can't voice crack on command. It just happens at inopportune times and when it would be most embarrassing. <laughs> I kind of like this, but... Ah, should I? Like, I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Get out of here. Okay. What's Temporal Distortion? Slows down enemies for a couple seconds. Uh, which is just hideously overpowered in this game. <laughs> it's just, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, you a spirit medium now? I mean, I'm, I'm more like a spirit extra large, considering my general physique. Ayo. <laughs> let's go. Donkey Kong, let's go, let's go. Here he comes, Banana Slamma. Oh, and he immediately destroyed my... Immediately destroyed my, uh, my turret there. Should probably be a little bit more careful when it comes to... Okay. Oh, it comes to everything, really, if I'm being honest. Okay. There we go. Ah, I do have the heart. Don't forget about that. Don't forget about that. No, the cannon is, is real. The cannon is real, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. Oh, boy. Oh, let's go. Perfect. <laughs> not... Oh, I'm not going to say that I wasn't stressed out there or anything, but, like, man. That was perfect. Door even opens up here. Like, now nah, we got it. And, um... <laughs> do I... I mean, it's a pretty substantial help. Uh, loss, just in general, so, no. Is there anything else up here, even? Like, come on, it's such a difficult door to open. you think you'd give me something else. Now do a perfect collector fight. Not gonna happen. That is a... That is an endurance fight. That is an endurance fight, and that's where I think everything's gonna come uh, crumbling down like a... like a, a, a greasy hamburger on a cheap motorcycle. It's gonna fall apart, and it's gonna fall apart again. <laughs> oh, let's go. In fact, I don't even know if I'm going to get through this area. The, the Astrolabe is pretty tough in a lot of ways, let's be honest here. 
Also, like, don't forget about, like, librarians and everything, too. They're gonna be... They're gonna be showing up, and they're not gonna be happy. Or they're gonna be very happy. Okay, they're dead. Never mind. Yastrolabe. I mean, that's the pun. <laughs> I'm just... There we go. I'm just, um, making it explicit rather than implicit. A a Austral web. Hello? Is this the Astral web? Can I woo woo in here? Oh, good lord! I hate you so much, <laughs> Librarian. <sighs> Librarian Elite com com Bomber combo yesterday. Oh, yeah. They're. They are. They're not my, um, favorite. This is cringy. <laughs> good. Look, I. This. Part of this whole stream is making you look at yourself and what you consider to be acceptable in modern day society. It's my, um. It's, it's my, uh, it's my, uh, modus operandi. Through cringe, we are all united in one. Where does Uwu come from? I don't know. <laughs> Probably just supposed to be a corruption of Owo. You know, as you do. Memes, they grow and evolve. They're like living creatures. The memes, Jack. Okay, sure. Ah. Uh, hey, I mean, you can never have too much cannon. <laughs> And yeah, all right. I don't think I need anything more here. Uh, the thing you talk about there's things you can talk about memes like Rule Thirty Four or JoJo. Oh yeah, yeah, no. Um, I am the most. Oh, two extra jumps. Okay. There we go. See if I can manage a perfect challenge rift. I would not. I would enjoy that very much, if possible, or even possible. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's go. Ah. We talk about hentai every stream, and now the stream has been unmonetizable. Oh, well, that happens with... Ah! Get out of here, you. It happens with every stream I do. I never make any money off of these things, for good reason. Hence why I don't feel bad about doing the uwu thing. <laughs> oh, just gotta, just gotta be careful. Librarian! Don't even step to this. You're not gonna like the results. Undercorella? Ooh. Ah. Ah. More legendary shields. Don't really need that. Look, here's the thing. I still have disengagement. There might be a food shop showing up here. I'm gonna go look up Dead Cells Hentai now. I don't know. Might exist. Uh. Okay. Shop. Not really what I'm looking for. Oh, you are what I'm looking for, though. Yes, very nice. Nice, nice days. <laughs> and then you, and then you. Ah! Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <sighs> and sorry for anybody that uses these uh, videos to sleep, but that was, that was very, <laughs> ooh, scary. All right. Still looking around for the last elite that I need to go kill. Where'd he go? Dead. <laughs> he exploded into like a million bits. <sighs> but still, I did not see a librarian there. Showed up and freaked me out. I, I got a mighty frighten out of that. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I mean, you know I read everything in chat. I can't help it. <laughs> like, you know he reads everything on the prompter. Okay. And probably right down here is the last thing that I'm looking for. Well, not quite what I'm looking for, but I mean, hey, get what you can. 
Open for a ah no. Okay, anything else? Anything else? I mean, I want that damage. I want the 75% damage reduction, but it's just not not to the RNG has not been in my favor. Okay. Still got three potion charges though. I mean, that's something at least. It's just uh just how far is that going to take you? I suppose we'll see. Now that I got the alien key, I can get out of here and press my luck against the final buzz. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't be opposed to getting the syringe again. I, I, I would like to get that for for future run shenanigans, but we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. That's good too. People fighting outside my house. What? <laughs> okay, librarian. And get take care of you, too sweet. You too. Hey, I mean it's just I know that as soon as I get hit by anything, I'm going down. I'm going down pretty hard. I'm the librarian. Yeah, yeah, you get out of here. And by get out of here, I mean get into the afterlife, which is where you belong. Oh, leave the bombers do all they want to do is smash. Well, I'm not gonna let them smash. <laughs> that is just them smashing is just a bad sign for me, just in general. Okay, there we go. Good dodge. Oh. Okay, and come on. Okay, damage you take is inflicted on enemies. I mean, it's. Maybe there's something to that. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> By the way, uh, current stat count: 35. 35 tactics. Can't go much more glass cannon than this now. <laughs> At least go on a second day before you smash Doc. Before you smash me, or before you smash Comma Doc. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, no. This is all gonna be. Uh, this is all gonna be just the. What? <laughs> what? What what happened there? Hey, did he push me off of the edge? That was sad. Yeah, you telling me. <laughs> I'm the one that had to suffer through it. What was that even? Like how how did I fall? <laughs> I like I got I you got rid of the necklace with multiple jumps. Yeah, but they like pushed me through the the floor. They like pushed me through the floor. That makes no sense. Oh, you jumped down. It didn't look like I jumped down. I didn't try to jump down if I did. Oh well. Man, I'm really just not getting anything here, am I? Hey. All right, and okay. Oh, rolled and pressed V. Yeah, I guess. V for victory, dog. And Vendetta. All right, take care of you. Whatever, you know, easy come, easy go, little high, little low, I'm fine. Would I like to be finer? If I, would it be finer to be in Carolina? Yes, it would, but you know, I'll take, I'll take whatever I can, man. And nice. Nice days. Uh, okay. Two potion charges plus the YOLO. And I'm probably also going to get rid of uh, the the um, uh, masochism. I don't really need masochism anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this out for you. Um, Probably disengagement again. And let's go with extended healing. Why? Because extended healing gives me 85% uh, health healing. That is, and if I have disengagement, no, 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 I don't need dead inside. Because dead inside is only going to be so useful. However, 
I do think... You can't use the heart twice. It's just if you haven't used it yet, when you re-roll mutations, you can take it again. So it's, it's, it's pretty much like you can... Uh, if you re-roll mutations, you don't lose it, basically. You're gonna die this time. Yeah, probably. <laughs> let's, let's see. First thing I'm going to do is throw on the potion charge. Actually, should I do that first? I might be able to get through a decent amount of phases without taking any damage just because it's gonna go so fast. Well, disengagement, that's what you got it for. Yeah, let's just... I'm gonna be better safe than sorry here. Okay. Yeah, finish your healing. I got mine going on, too. Oh, come on! <laughs> like the last second here, man. And... Okay, come on. All right then. Ah, <laughs> uh, oof, I know. He turns around. Well, cool. <laughs> Big pog. <laughs> it just that, that the glass cannon. I was wrong. You can get a great run out of this. It was like three phases? It was barely even that. <laughs> You're wrecked. <laughs> Take him down. All right, what's a stupid thing? Good. Uh, okay. <laughs> and if you see it doesn't refill health potions, it does. Or, or maybe it doesn't, actually. I don't actually... I, I didn't... The classic. What else? How else would you end a run? <laughs> Oh, jeez. No! Stop! <laughs> I think you need a new controller. I need a new cord. <laughs> there. <laughs> Glass cannon win. I mean, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Just, uh... On a hope and a prayer, man. You, you can get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still need to actually go through the, the dialogue. Oh, boy. There you go. I feel, I feel, uh, like maybe not vindicated, but I do. Nice. Uh, but at least I do feel, um, like I have proven my words incorrect. That's a good feeling. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's enough. Um, that is enough, uh, dead cells for today, I suppose. Uh, next time, probably going to come back. Maybe finally do something with some of the new weapons here. Because most of them are unlocked after all. 